Hi everybody, my name is Paula from the Real Polish Fanatic blog and Jewelry by RPF. Thank you for stopping by my little corner of YouTube and spending a little bit of your day with me. I do appreciate you being here. I'm so excited today. I got some nail mail and there is a brand called Lurid Lacquer and I believe she's been in business just this year. I think she may be opened in January and I have never placed an order with them but I have heard a lot of hype about it. A lot of people really love the brand and um, see a lot of photos, you know, on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. And so I had been looking into the brand a little bit. I still hadn't made a purchase. And then I saw that she was going to be having a Halloween mystery countdown calendar kind of a thing. And I saw that it was all reflective glitter polishes, which I love. And so I had to jump in and make my first lurid lacquer order, this huge 10-piece um, uh, mystery countdown calendar. So I just got it in the mail today. I haven't even opened the box. All I did was take off the shipping label, but the box is still closed up. There's 10 polishes in here. And what's kind of unique about this particular um, countdown calendar is... Um, from what I understand, her the names of her polishes are going to tell a story. So if you open all the polishes, this is the type of thing that you're supposed to open one polish a day, you know, starting on a certain day and ending probably on Halloween. So if you would do it the right way, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to break into this box right now, but if you do it that way, um, the polishes are supposed to tell a story. And I'm assuming that's with their names of their polishes, but I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. But um, I thought that was really unique. I had never seen anybody do anything like that before. So I'm very excited to open this up. This was called An Unshakable Sense of Foreboding Part One. And it was a reflective glitter Halloween mystery countdown calendar of 10 polishes. And if you did purchase, it was only for sale for like one day or two days. I think it sold out very quickly. I think she only had 100, but then I think she added some more um, sets in because they sold out so quickly but if you ordered on the day that these became available you also will get a free gift with purchase there was four of those that she would choose so she would just choose you one of the four gift with purchases so there should be 11 polishes in there and um, if you like any of these polishes, once we get into them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the box, we're gonna look at how it's packaged, we're gonna look at each of the individual polishes, and then I'm gonna take a break and paint my swatch wheel, and then we'll come back and I'll do live swatches, um, you know, like I usually do live third, three, third coat swatches on the swatch wheel. So I'll take a little break in between opening the box and coming back. But um, if you do like any of these, when we get into them and get to see them, she is going to have these uh, for sale individually in November sometime, and including the four gift with purchases um, that you would have to purchase at that point. But it won't be sold as a set. You'd have to buy them individually. And um, they may come back even after November, depending on demand, if um, people are still missing out on things or they really want them. She can, she's reserving the right to bring them back even after November. So um, this was called An Unshakable Sense of Foreboding Part 1, and she's going to also be opening her web store up on Friday the 13th, this coming Friday um, at 6 p.m. Central. And she's going to be having the Unshakable Sense of Foreboding Part 2. They're all new, different polishes, um, just sold individually, like, you know, a regular stock, a regular release would be. So um, that's also kind of interesting. She has Part 1 as the mystery um, countdown calendar, and then Part 2 just, you know, for sale as individual polishes. And like I said, that will be starting Friday the 13th at 6 p.m., um, all the polishes are, or the set part two polishes are up on her website if you wanted to go take a look and see what's coming. And um, you can find her at luridlackers.com. I will link that in the description along with her um, unofficial Facebook group, which is called Lurid Lovers, the unofficial fan group. And I'll link her official Facebook group too, which is just Lurid Lacker. So I think that's everything I wanted to tell you right now. So let's break into the box, shall we? 
All right, I have my swatch wheels here all ready to paint once I get this box open and we take a peek inside. I'll start with what's on my nails though, like I usually do. And let me see if I can get us some more light here. On my nails is uh, this beautiful polish from Emily Damali. Um, this one is called Never Stood a Chance. And this was described as a pale brown with vibrant green, blue, purple, large particle shimmer and hollow micro glitter. This thing is so sparkly and so shiny. I wouldn't call these really micro glitter. These seem like pretty good size hollow glitter in there, but um, this is just so beautiful. It's purple, it's kind of pink, it's, she says that there's green and blue and purple, but um, it does lean a little bit pink also, and they see the purple, you can see the blue. Just so beautiful and so sparkly and so shiny. I love this polish. And that was Never Stood a Chance from Emily Damali. All right, let's see if I can even get this box here in the camera. We got our little box cutter here to open it up. All right, let's see. All right, take out the packing slip and let's see if I can get this. Let me zoom out some. There we go. So this is right on top. It says Lurid Lacquer Presents An Unshakable Sense of Foreboding, Part One. Take this. Let's see. Oh, on the back is a whole long thing. Maybe this is the story that she's telling. I'm going to just keep this here in case I need to reference it. And then we've got some tissue paper here, green with black batch, really cute. And then open this up. And here they are. We got a little holographic sticker. Very cute. And here are the 11 polishes. We have a 10 um, day, um, the uh, countdown calendar, and then one gift with purchase. So let us see. All right, so I see here, it's one, two, three, counts all the way up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then here's the gift with purchase. It says no tricks, only treats. So I got number two in the mystery uh, grab bag of four possibilities. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I am just very, very excited about this. And we're gonna pull out number one. We got day one. I'm supposed to open this on October 22nd. I'm a little bit early. I'm gonna zoom back in now. All right, just in a plain old craft paper kind of box. Let me see. All right, here comes day one. Oh, so the maker said day four and day seven were her favorites. So let's see what we've got here. All right, here is day one. This one is called An Inexplicable Impulse. So I think, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so her story, I'm not sure what goes with what, but I will read the story as we go along. An Inexplicable Impulse impulse this looks like a beautiful um blue with that strong green shimmer and uh the reflective glitter i don't have official descriptions or anything so her story starts out i cannot explain exactly the unbearable urge that overtakes me as if every cell of my body knows something that i do not 
I followed the impulse, running through the heavy, humid autumn air, leaves crunching underfoot, the scent of senescence almost suffocating. I'm going to open number two now and see if it takes up from there. Here's day two. Should be opening on October 23rd. Ooh, this is a pretty purple one. This one is called Forbidden Path. Beautiful purple with like a red to pink maybe shimmer and then that beautiful reflective glitter. All right, the story goes on. I pause now a mile away from home, catching my breath as I stand before an opening in a thicket at the edge of summer woods. I have lived in this town all my life and never once have I stepped foot in these woods. I don't really know where to stop in the story. So this one is called Forbidden Path, day two. She doesn't have the days on the bottles. Hopefully I don't get these messed up. Maybe I'll put them back in the boxes for now. All right, day one, day two, day two, day three. All right, day three. There's another, oh, this looks like a very glowy purple with maybe some green and a beautiful reflective glitter. This one's called Darkened Trail. Okay, I have lived in this town all my life and never once have I stepped foot in these woods, but my feet are moving now before my mind remembers to protest. I laugh at myself unnerved. What am I doing? This is called Darkened Trail. Excited to get these swatched. All right, open day four. So what I'm doing is I'm reading this story from this card that she had in the box, just so you know what I'm reading. All right, here's day four, October 25th, I think that says. Ooh, this is a pretty one too. Looks like kind of a mauvey pink. It's hard to see exactly what these are with the bright lights. Looks kind of like a mauvey pink with like a green, blue maybe, shimmer and the reflective glitter. This one is called Unsettling Susurrations. The story goes on. I peer, I peer through the branches and leaves. Late afternoon light peeks through small openings of the dense canopy, casting patches of the dry earth and shades of gold and tawny brown. The scene is utterly idyllic. Birds chirp, insects hum and buzz, and a gentle breeze rustles through the leaves of the deciduous trees, while the evergreens and their weighty boughs stand tall and unaffected. I breathe in deep. All right, let's go to the next day. Got day five, October 26th. Ooh, this is a pretty glitter one. This has, um, it looks like probably a black base. And then it's got, I see green, I see blue, purple, maybe pink. All these different colored um, flakes. Maybe like a red or an orange. This one is called Distant Footsteps. Story continues, my therapist is always telling me to take deep breaths, to go for walks, to connect with nature, to ground myself in the present instead of succumbing to the re relentless maelstrom of anxious ruminations that plague me in every waking moment of my life and in sleep too. And that was Distant Footsteps. Today six. Ooh, another pretty, I'm gonna say that about all of them. This looks like, like an electric blue with some purple going on 
in the silver reflective glitter. Very, very pretty. This one is called Prickling Fear. The story continues. I draw in another breath. I decide, I decide to take her advice for once. I squeeze through the branches, feeling them tug against my hair and coat. Day seven. This is a pretty brown with, let's see, maybe, maybe a, it might have like a gold sh shimmer, maybe green to gold shimmer. Kind of see that at the top there. This one is called An Unseen Presence. Oh, it's a magnetic. Let me grab my magnet. Let's see. This one's magnetic. Ooh, looks like it's going to have a black base and then that beautiful kind of reddish coppery magnet line. Pretty. Story continues. I squeeze through the branches, feeling them tug against my hair and coat. I lift a leaf out of my hair and laugh at myself, now standing inside summer woods. I spy a foot trail ahead and step towards it through the fallen leaves and detritus that line the forest floor. All right, so that's very, very pretty. There's her logo. All right, we're up to day eight. I should be opening this one on October 29th. All right, this one looks like a like a blood red with some gold and maybe purple and pink shimmering glitter. This one is called Inescapable Doom. I do not realize that I have lost myself to daydreams until I become aware of the darkness ahead of me. I turn to follow the path back and realize that I have wandered off the trail completely. Here's that one. And day number nine, October 30th. And this one is, looks like maybe another black base with purple and pink uh, glitter or flakes and silver reflective. This one is called Enveloping Darkness. The story continues. A sudden chill creeps down my spine. Dread burgeons inside me, constricting my throat. Enveloping darkness. And day 10. How's the story gonna end? This is a pretty light colored one. This looks like a gray base maybe with this red shimmer. Maybe it may go to like a coppery orange and silver reflective. And this one is called Unearthly si Silence. All right, the story ends. Dread burge burgeons inside me, constricting my throat. This is the summer woods of urban legend and whispered lore. Is that the whole story? All right, that was the story. Unearthly si Silence. And this was day 10. This is the last one of the Advent or the countdown portion. 
And then we have one more bonus in here. And this one, no tricks, only treats. This was the gift with purchase. And this is pretty. This looks like another kind of gray base with like that blue to green shimmer in the silver reflective. And it's called Disquieting Calm. All right, there we have it. And that was the 10 piece, An Unshakable Sense of Foreboding, part one, and a gift with purchase, and a little story that she included. Here it is. Let's see. Maybe you can see it there if you'd like to take a screenshot of it. Let me move it over a little bit. Trying to get it so there's not such a glare on it, but hopefully, maybe that helps. If you want to take a screenshot of her little story. And here's the front of the card. Very cute. That was an interesting idea. Having a little story that goes along with the polishes. All right. I am going to take a break. I'm gonna swatch these on my Big Daddy swatch wheel here. I got a black one, black ones also, so we can see if they work as toppers. And so I will see you in a little bit. All right, everyone, I am back. I've done the swatches. I've got one and two coats on my swatch wheel and I put a coat over black to save some time. So let's go ahead and jump in. Here they all are. Give you a little sneak peek. Let's jump right on in. Here we have day one. This one was called an inexplicable impulse. And this is sort of like a sky blue with green um, shifting shimmer and then that reflective glitter. I'll go in at the end and turn the lights off so we can take a look at all of these um, without this bright light on it. So here is that one in one coat and two coats. That second coat deepened it up. Get a nice close shot of it. Let's go in, we'll put on a third coat here. that continues to deepen up that base color. It's a beautiful blue color. Here that one is now in one coat and three coats. And let me grab this other wheel here. And this is that one over black. It takes away all that blue and just leaves the green shimmer behind and the silver Reflective glitter, looks like silver. So this is an inexplicable impulse. Very pretty. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna clean off my bottle tops while I do this too, just, it's so important that you clean off your lids, especially with reflective glitter. I'm gonna take just a second and do that before I close these up. And up next we have this pretty purple, like a royal purple. This one was called Forbidden Path. And here that is in one coat and two coats. Again, that deepened it up just a little bit. Looks like a kind of a grape, a dark grape purple or royal purple with a pink shimmer and the silver reflective glitter. Let's go in and do a third coat here. This is beautiful. 
And her brushes, just to show you, are nice, wide, rounded paddle brush. Very nice brushes. Formulas are excellent. I was a little nervous jumping into a new brand, a new to me brand on such a big purchase, but I'm really happy with it. So this is Forbidden Path in one coat and three coats. That was day two. Oh, and here it is over black. It kind of um, leaves a kind of a reddish shimmer. Once you get rid of that purple and put it over black, it's right there in the middle of them. Pretty. All right, day three. It's this beautiful one called Darkened Trail. And this is, look at that shimmer in there. She seems to have a lot of glowy shimmer polishes and I'm really loving those this year. If you go through and look at her website, I don't know, she's opening on Friday. I have 21 or 22 items in my wish list, so obviously I can't buy that many. I'm gonna have to get it down, but um, she's got a lot of very pretty um, polish. So here's that one in one coat and two coats. Again, that second coat deepened it up, brought out more shimmer, more reflective. So these so far in the second coats are not very textured. Yeah, you may be okay with just um, one or two thick coats of regular top coat without needing a glitter grabber with these. Go in here, we're gonna do our third coat. It's a beautiful teal with that purple shimmer. It looks like maybe green reflective glitter in this one. I hope she comes out with official descriptions because I like having official descriptions so I know exactly what's going on in the polish. So that is gorgeous. That teal, that really deepened up the color, that third coat. And then you just get this glowy purple shimmer. Look at how beautiful that is. And then the green reflective glitter. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. And this one is called Darkened Trail in one coat and three. And here's that one over black. You can see it just leaves behind that beautiful purple shimmer and the green reflective. Gorgeous. Day four, we have this one here. Kind of a nude with this green shimmer. This one was called Unsettling Susurrations. Very pretty, kind of a pinky nude. And here's that one in one coat and two coats. Once again, that just barely deepened it up in that second coat. Not a whole lot of difference between the first and second coat. Look how smooth all these first coats are. Every single one of them, so smooth. Excellent formulas. We'll go in and do the third coat. So this is just like a pinky nude with, I see green, I see maybe pink. I don't know, that's beautiful. I'm not sure what all I'm seeing, but it's very pretty. Definitely see the green shimmer and kind of a pinky nude base color. I keep forgetting to wipe off my bottles. Okay. So this is Unsettling Susurrations in one coat and three. So sparkly. 
That was day four. And here that one is over black. Sometimes over black we can get a better idea of what's going on in there. So this has got like a green shimmer. And maybe blue reflective glitter. It's hard to tell. But there it is, one coat over black. All right, up next, day five. This one was called Distant Footsteps. Here it is in the bottle. Look at all those flakes. And here that one is on the swatch wheel in one coat and two coats. This is sort of a gray or a light black base. Then it has all these different colored flakes. I see green, kind of goes to blue. I see maybe a purple. I see some hints of pink in there. Maybe some gold. Gorgeous. Let's go in and put on a third coat. And here that is now in one coat and three coats. That really did deepen up that gray base. It's kind of a light black or darker gray. Mainly under these lights, I'm seeing a lot of the green flakes go into blue. I'm trying to see what else I see. There's quite a bit going on in there. It's so pretty. And that one is Distant Footsteps in one coat and three. And again, all of these polishes will be available in November individually at luridlacquer.com. So you can check those out. And this was uh, part one of an unshakable sense of foreboding. Part two, all new different polishes will be available on Friday, this Friday the 13th at 6 central, 6 p.m. central time. I think that's four o'clock for us here on the West Coast. There it is, one coat over black. Over black doesn't make a whole lot of difference because it does have kind of that dark gray or black base, so. All right, up next, it's gorgeous. Kind of a magenta with that blue-purple shimmer. Look at that in the bottle. This one was called Prickling Fear. And here that one is on the swatch wheel in one coat and two coats. The first coat is a little bit more pink. That second coat is turning it a little bit more purple, probably that blue purple shimmer. And this one looks like it might have, it either has pink or red reflective glitter. I can't tell exactly which color that is. We'll go in here and do a third coat. Again, I'm taking just a second to wipe off the necks of my bottles so I don't get any reflective glitter stuck on them because that will let air into the bottle, which will thicken up the polish. So here is that one in one coat and three. Look at that shimmer. Gorgeous. And that one was called Prickling Fear. I keep wanting to say prickling pear, but it's not, it's fear. One coat and three. And here is that one. Over black, where are we? We're right here to kind of this blue, kind of a royal blue. This might have purple reflective glitter. It's pink or purple. 
I can see it a little better over the black. There it is, one coat over black and one in three coats on its own. And up next we have this gorgeous one here. This one was called An Unseen Presence. This one is the magnetic. Beautiful in the bottle. <clears throat> so I have that here on the swatch wheel in one coat and two coats. These are both unmagnetized. Did not magnetize that yet. We're going to do that while I paint on. Let's see how I can do this. All right, I think this might work here. I'm gonna paint on a third coat. There it is in one and two, one and two. This one's got little maybe gold or brown flakes in it and then looks like a silver reflective kind of a brownie brown bronze shimmer let's put on our third coat while we magnetize it so that is deepening up that base to be pretty much like a very, very dark brown or a black. And then you get that kind of um, reddish copper magnetic line through it. Very, very pretty. And I also brought down just a plain swatch stick. All I had were clear ones, so I have a clear one. I have two coats on this so far. I'm gonna do this in the um, horseshoe magnet here. So let's put on a third coat here. And then we're gonna set that down here into the horseshoe magnet. You can see that. Horseshoe magnet is my favorite way to wear magnetics now that I have played with it and realized how fun and beautiful of a effect it gives. All right, so here that is. I didn't wanna put it on my own nail because I just did my manicure today. So normally I would put this on my nail because it's a little easier to, to get and to see the effect, but I think you can see that it's kind of here you can it's kind of black right here at the edge and I can see the kind of reddish copperish um, magnetic pigments and then you turn it and it kind of disappears and you turn it back and there it is all right so that is it over or in the horseshoe magnet and here it is in one coat unmagnetized and three coats with the cat eye magnet. Very pretty, I like this one. And here it is over black. I have, um, oh, let me get my finger up here. This one right here is one coat over black without being magnetized. See how pretty that is? And this one, I did do the cat eye magnet, but it has pretty much dispersed into just one big kind of magnet, magnetic look. But here that is. One coat and three on the, on the natural colored uh, swatch wheel. One coat unmagnetized and one coat magnetized over black. And one more look, here it is in the horseshoe. Love it. 
All right. And we are up to day two, three, four, five, six, seven, day eight. This one was called Inescapable Doom. Here that is once again in the bottle. Kind of a dark red, like a blood red with some, I see gold and I see red. Let's see what it looks like on the swatch wheel right here. Just a very deep burgundy in that first coat. And then it takes on a little bit more of like an ox blood um, with the second coat. And this one, I think it has, well, let's wait till we look at it over black. I think it might have pink reflective glitter. Let's go in, we'll put on a third coat. And that does continue to deepen up that base color into really, really deep, deep, like blood red, ox blood. And then I see, I see some red glitter in there and I see some twinkles of pink and I'm not seeing, let me see if I saw gold. I think maybe something, there's some flakes in there that kind of shift to gold. I can see in the bottle, but once you get it on the nail, it seems to kind of cover up and it's just sort of different shades of red and pink, beautiful. And this one is Inescapable Doom in one coat and three coats. I think this one also has maybe some black flakes in there too. I can see them on the first coat a little bit. And here it is over black. We are up to this one right here. Not a whole lot different over black or three coats on its own. Somewhat similar there. And then we have this one. I was thinking this was kind of a purple or like a black base with some purple. This was called Enveloping Darkness. And Here it is on the swatch wheel in one coat and two coats. So this one, I think it maybe does have a black base and then I think it has just a lot of little black micro glitter maybe and then I see some red flakes and looks like silver um, reflective glitter. Very pretty. Let's go ahead and put on our third coat. I don't know if those are little micro glitter that's kind of making up the base. Or if it's a black base, it kind of looks in the neck, it almost looks like it's a clear ba base with just a ton of teeny tiny black micro glitter and then these red flakes. I see some sort of purple in the bottle too. I'm not really seeing that. Let's see. I do see a little bit of purple shimmer actually. Um, it's very hard to see but I am getting a little hint of some purple shimmer in there as well. So there's that one, and this was Enveloping Darkness. And I'm pretty sure this is a clear base with um, just a ton of black micro glitter, which just fills it all in, and then some red flakes. Very pretty. And here that one is over black. 
And once again, not too much different once you put it over black and how it looks. Three coats built up. It does look like probably silver reflective glitter. Pretty, pretty. All right, we're up to day 10. Day 10 is this kind of like a light gray base maybe with this pinky, peachy kind of shimmer. This one was called Unearthly Sil Silence, Silver Reflective. And here is that one. This one's a little bit, well, I guess it's not too hard to see. One coat and two coats. You can see that second coat deepened up that color. It's like a soft gray. And then you get all that kind of pinky peachy uh, shimmer and then the silver reflective. It's coming through on the camera a little darker than it is in person. It's much more of kind of a lighter gray, but let's put on a third coat and see what that does. So pretty, kind of a neutral with a kick with this one because that kind of pinky peachy shimmer is a little bit neutral. And then the light gray base. Here it is in one coat and three. And that did deepen up that um, base color even a little bit more. I feel like it's still showing a little darker on the camera than it is in person. This is a pretty one called Unearthly si Silence in one coat and three. And here is that one over black. It's kind of like a bronzy brownish peachy pink. Yeah, that's what I see <laughs> when you get it over black. So you can see it's a little bit deeper when you put it over the black. Not quite as dark as it's showing from what I can see in the camera. It's not quite that dark of a gray base. It's much more of a lighter gray. All right, then we have our gift with purchase. This one was called Disquieting Calm. Beautiful, kind of a whitish base with that bluish green shimmer and looks like silver reflective. Go in, here it is in one coat and two coats. This one's a little harder to see. You can definitely see that shimmer though. Um, between the first and second coat, it doesn't look like too much of a difference in base colors or anything. Let's go in, we'll put on a third coat. You see that green shimmer on the, on the brush and on the stem. All right. So here is that one in one coat and three coats. And that did continue just to give you even more shimmer, more reflective glitter. Very pretty. This one was called Disquieting Calm in one coat and three. And here it is over black. So it's kind of a aqua, kind of an aqua colored shimmer. Very pretty and silver reflective it looks like. All right, so that was the whole An Unshakable Sense of Foreboding Part 1 Halloween Reflective Glitter mystery countdown calendar and like i said all of these will be available 
in November individually at luridlacker.com. I'll link that in the description. And her part two of this collection is coming out on Friday. Look at that, so pretty. I don't know if I can pick a favorite. These are all so beautiful. I, of course, love this purple, this deep purple with that pink shimmer. I'm loving this teal with the purple shimmer. This blue, beautiful. Okay, yeah, I just like all of them. Yeah, there's not one that I don't like. I'm really happy that I took the chance as a first purchase from Lurid Lacquer to get this Halloween countdown calendar. I am going to go ahead. Oh, I was going to turn the lights off. Let's see. It may be. We maybe can see. Let me see. Nope, that brings out too much reflective. So here it is in very low light. I just have my ring light here on now. So it's taking away all the reflective so you can kind of get an idea of base colors. It's very dark though. And there's that magnetic, that pretty ox blood. And the two lighter colors. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll finish up. All right, what did you think? Do you have any Lurid lacquer? Let me know in the comments what you think of Lurid, if you have any. If you're gonna check out her website ahead of her uh, Friday opening, she does have a wish list feature. So if you sign up for an account on her website, you can add things to a wish list, like I said. I think I have 22 items, 21, 22 items in there, because she's not only gonna have her new collection that's coming out, but she's bringing back some past polishes. And like I said, this here was my first um, purchase from her, so I have some catching up to do. Of course, I can't buy 20 polishes, but probably will buy a couple. And um, I'm going to, um, after I say goodbye, I'm going to go outside and um, show these off in the sun if I can get a good picture of them out there, a good video of them out there. And I'm going to read you that story. I'm going to read it like beginning to end instead of stopping in the middle. I don't know the story. Maybe it continues with part two of this collection. I don't, I'm not sure, but I'll read you the whole story in one swell loop, swell I'm not sure what that saying is, but anyway, <laughs> I will read the whole thing and show this off to you out in the sun, if I can stand being out in that 100 degree weather for a few minutes. But there we go. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you think of Lurid, what you think of any of these polishes that I have. I really do love them all. Very happy I got this purchase and we'll be checking her out on Friday as well. So. Just let me know anything that's on your mind in the comments. I would love to hear from you and interact with you a little bit that way. Um, if you like my video, I know this is a long one, I do apologize, but if you like what you see, I would appreciate if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Those of you watching who already subscribed, thank you so much. I do really appreciate you being here, and I appreciate all of you spending a little bit of your day with me. I know this was kind of a long video, but I had to show it off as soon as I got it in the mail. Like the mail lady came, dropped it at my front door. I went out and got it. I was like, bam, start the video. <laughs> but anyway, just let me know in the comments, whatever's on your mind. I would love to hear from you. And um, I'm going to say goodbye for now, but keep watching at the end. I'm going to read that story again to you and show these off to you in the sun. Bye-bye. All right, don't mind the messy ground. Here's what I'm wearing. I um, just wanted to show you this out in the sun also. This is Emily Damali. It's called Never Stood a Chance. I had to show you this sparkly, beautiful polish out here in the sun. All right, here is the Lurid Lacquer Halloween Advent or Halloween Countdown Calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and read you the story while we take a look at this out here in the sun. 
I cannot explain exactly the unbearable urge that overtakes me as if every cell of my body knows something that I do not. I follow the impulse, running through the heavy, humid autumn air, leaves crunching underfoot, the scent of the senescence almost suffocating. I pause now, a mile away from home, catching my breath as I stand before an opening in a thicket at the edge of Sumner Woods. I have lived in this town all my life and never once have I stepped foot in these woods. But my feet are moving now, before my mind remembers to protest. I laugh at myself, unnerved. What am I doing? I peer through the branches and leaves. Late afternoon light peeks through small openings of the dense canopy, casting patches of the dry earth and shades of gold and tawny brown. The scene is utterly idyllic. Birds chirp, insects hum and buzz, and a gentle breeze rustles through the leaves of the deciduous trees, while the evergreens and their weighty boughs stand tall and unaffected. I breathe in deep. My therapist is always telling me to take deep breaths, to go for walks, to connect with nature, to ground myself in the present instead of succumbing to the relentless maelstrom of anxious ruminations that plague me in every waking moment of my life and in sleep too. I draw in another breath. I decide to take her advice for once. I squeeze through the branches, feeling them tug against my hair and coat. I lift a leaf out of my hair and laugh at myself, now standing inside Sumner Woods. I spy a foot trail ahead and step towards it through the fallen leaves and detritus that line the forest floor. I do not realize that I have lost myself to daydream daydreams until I become aware of the darkness ahead of me. I turn to follow the path back and realize that I have wandered off the trail completely. A sudden chill creeps down my spine. Dread burgeon, burgeons inside me constricting my throat. This is the Sumner Woods of urban legend and whispered lore. All right, so there we have it. Thank you, everybody, for stopping in, spending some of your day with me once again, and I will say goodbye for now.